Captain Zero has spoken. His little is not as Captain Zero says. Captain Zero tells the truth. It is what Captain Zero says. But it is not as the <coughs> Master Arm said. I have, I have been the king's bread, and I am true to the king. I believe you, my man. God would bless you for that, your honor. Was there malice between you and the Master at Arm? No, there was no malice between us. I never bore any malice against the Master at Arm. I'm sorry that he is dead. I did not mean to kill him. Could I have used my tongue, I would not have struck him. But he foully lied to my face. And in the presence of my captain, I had to say something. And I could only say it with a blow. God help me. I believe you, my man. Do you suspect of any news against you beforehand? What question more? You tell us what the master arm said against you was a lie? Now why would he, why should he have lied? So maliciously lied? Since you declared that there was no malice between you? The question you ask him comes naturally enough. But how can you right answer it? Or anybody else, unless it indeed be he who lies with him there. But the prone one there will not rise to our summons in effect. Though, as it seems to me, the point you make is hardly material. Aside from any conceivable notion, actuating the master at arms, and irrespective of the proclamation to the blow, the martial court must need, in the present case, confine its attention to the blow's consequences, which consequently justify it to be deemed not otherwise than with the striker's deed. Nobody is present on the ship's company that may be able to shed a lateral light, if any is to be had upon on the seriousness of this situation. Those thoughtfully put. I see a drift. I there is mystery, but to use the spiritual phrase, it is a mystery of inequity. A matter for your physiological theologians to discuss. But what has a military court have to do with it? Not to add that for any of us possible investigation of it is cut off by the lasting tongue tie of him in yonder. The prisoner's deed alone we have to do. I have said all, sir.